Welcome to Tech Jotters again. Today, I'm going to show you the process to install DaVinci Resolve free version on Fedora 40. Fedora 40 is the newest Fedora version just released and it's very nice and stable distribution so far I use it. So before uh, installing DaVinci Resolve, you need to install your graphics card. For me, it is AMD Radeon 6900XT. So I installed the AMD version, the Rockm version, because I also use it for ML. So I installed the Rockm version, uh, Rockm AMD graphics card driver. So uh, if you want to install Rockm, just see my other video. I showed how to install it, uh, install Rockm on Fedora 40. Uh, just uh, recap, if you want to, pu if you put the command sudo dnf install rockm and uh, put a star, it'll give you the option, like it, it, it'll install all the required files for rockm. So that's, that's everything actually, that's very easy. So this is the command. If you put sudo dnf install rockm and star, it will install the rockm. And after that, you need to put your username to the render and video group and then reboot and it's done. So that's for the Rockm. And if you are using NVIDIA graphics card, just follow the instructions on the how to install NVIDIA graphics card. I don't have NVIDIA, so I can't show you this. So uh, let's go to the DaVinci Resolve. So if I search with the DaVinci Resolve, search it and go to the main page. Now, uh, free download. I want to install the Res DaVinci Resolve 19. So it's a public beta. I want to install the, I want to download the Linux version. Just click on that, Linux, and you need to put your names and everything here. So I'm putting my basic information here. It's uh, you don't actually need to put very details here, just click register and download and it'll start downloading the the Vince result. Uh, it's a big file, 2.5 gigabyte. So it'll take a little bit time. So I will be back when it's downloaded. Okay, so it's uh, downloaded. And in this video, I will show you the process and the errors also. So if I, if you just download it and extract it and run, try to run it, what happens? I will show you that, okay? So uh, I will show the normal process and when I get some errors, I will solve that so that it will be easier for you to realize what is happening. So here, if I go to the download page and see that the Vinci Resolve is here, okay? So the next thing is I want to open the this directory. Okay. So this is the uh, file browser. If I go to the download place, here is the the Binz Resolve 19 public beta. Right click it, extract it. It's extracted. Okay. If I if I go to this page, it will show you these files, the run file and the Linux installation instructions. So these instruction is will not work, so I will not open it. So this is the DaVinci Resolve. So if I go here and go to the directory DaVinci Resolve, it will show this. That's great. So next, let's run the uh, run file. So here it is showing the missing or outdated system package detected and those kind of things. Okay. 
so it's actually showing some error the zlib file is missing and everything so i will solve this problem so before that i want to install some you know uh, file some uh, library so i will put this command to the description so that you can easily follow this so this is the command so do install this uh Libcar libraries I want to install. You just press OK. It's very small download, so just download everything and it's done. Okay. So it's it it's um, just for the you know I want to put myself in a safe place, so that's why I run this command. It'll download some media libraries. The next thing is, we need to run. We will run this again. So if I run this, uh, the vinc run command again, it'll show me the same error again. If you install zlib, it'll still show you the same error. So don't bother with this. The command we need to use is keep package check is equal to one. So we will skip the package check and it should run perfectly. You see, now it is not showing any error or anything. The installation page is here. So click next, next. I agree, next. I don't want to see the details log. Start installation, and it 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 is installed. Just done, finish. So if I go to the app dryer you can see there is the uh, the vinci resolve if i run this this uh, one speed test it will show me that the cpu is capable of 8k transcoding the gpu is also capable up to 50 fps so it's actually working but if i click on the da vinci resolve again it will not run. See, I clicked here, but it's not running. So that's the big problem. For that, we need to run some commands. I will put these commands to the description so that you can just copy and paste it. First, uh, we need to go to the resolve li library directory. And from here, here I will make a directory for disable libraries, I will disable some library. So how I can disable, I will copy the library from the resolve library folder directory to disable library directory. So this is the command. So sudo move leave glib star. So all the library started with leave glib will be go to the disabled libraries directory then the same thing uh, I will do for the leap geo okay and I will do the same for the leap G module and that's it that's the command so if I go to the the Vinci Resolve, now it's working perfectly. You can see it is now asking me to continue with this. Click continue. I want quick setup. It is getting my operating system is good. My graphics card is working good. That's fine. I want Ultra SD. Continue. So. This is the directory where it will save its projects. Continue. I'm fine with that. Uh, I'm not coming from any of that. So I will use the DaVinci Resolve layout. And you are all set. If you start it, that's perfectly working. In previous version, if you run this, it'll show you some error so here it's showing the force quit that's fine because although it's showing some errors it is working fine 
Okay. The next thing is, so uh, actually, if you go to the directory and uh, if you try to like get some, you know, videos from this folder, like here, you can see I have the mp4 file. If I want to import this file to the edit directory, just it's for just checking. If I just drag and drop it, see, it's very disgusting thing. Just it is actually taking only the audio, even the audio uh, graph is not showing. So it cannot actually working with the mp4 file directly so before that we need to transcode this file okay so for that transcoding we will create a transcode.sh as you know this is just if i go to the transcode script so it'll use the transcode script and make a new mp4 file so that it will work with uh, the vince resolve okay so if I go to there, if I search with the folders, you can see I need to go to the desktop. Sorry, I need to go to the OBS Studio directory. And here is the MP4 file. I will create a transcode file here. So the command is nano transcode.sh. It will create a transcode.sh file. And I will put this command here. Okay, and I will put this command to the, I will put this command to the uh, description so that you just, you can just copy and paste it. I will write it here. So, control O to write this file and just uh, control X to, you know, close it. Now I need to change the owner, so chmod pass x and then transcode so the thing is you need to copy this transcode transcode.sh file to the folder where the original video is located okay so I, I i just put all the videos on the obs video for directory so i create this transcode file here and if i run this transcode file dot sh if i click here it will transcode the file into the uh, format that can be read by the, you know, the Vinci result. So it'll take a little bit time. I will first forward it and I will be back when it's done. Okay, it's done. So if I go to the directory here and you can see th it is actually created a transcode uh, directory and put the video here it's transforming into mov file so now just go there and if I just import this file here it is now working that's great it is now showing the you know waveform and the video and everything and it, you can now use it perfectly okay so that's all for today uh, with this uh, command, your the Win series off will work perfectly, and hopefully you will like you like this video. And if you like this video, please like and share and subscribe to my channel so that I can make more videos like this. And have a good day. Bye.